Hey screeners, welcome back to another episode. I'm Brittany. And I'm Ricky. And we are Paper, Paper Screen. Screen. So Brittany, what are we talking about today? So today, this was a request from Portugal. Oh, okay. A top five 90s movies. Gotcha. So. Wait, did they give a reason why? Because just 90 movies are great. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, um, I don't know any of Ricky's movies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Can I say something though? What? <laughs> when I was putting to, because the list was pretty challenging, because I was like, "Oh my god, god, there's like a billion movies," but I, I figured, and I'm hoping you did the same thing. I omitted any horror. Mm-mm. Oh shit, you put horror in yours? Because when I think like, I was like, "Well, '90s movies," it probably means like can't hardly wait, like the teen '90s. Movies. I mean, I have some of those in there, but I feel like my list is a combination of like actual iconic movies and movies that like made me want to do filmmaking Mm -hmm. but i have some like kids movies too okay let's start with number five what's your number five ricky (laughs) my number five is a kids movie it's hercules 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 (laughs) um i remember okay this is like probably the first kids movie that i ever got to own when I first watched it, I thought the movie like ended like three times. And then the the VHS kept going. I was like, oh, there's more. Uh. <laughs> but I I loved this movie as a kid because one, I thought Hercules was so hot to me. <laughs> and two, Meg. Yeah. She's iconic. Yeah. And I can quote her. Do you have a thing for weak angles? <laughs> Hades. The best villain. One yeah. Of the best villains. He was great. Um, I just love like all the Greek mythology stuff, yeah. like Zeus and Olympus. The whole final climax of the movie is like the Titans are like rising. Right. Which is like the coolest part. Uh oh, and then, then like the there's like the part where he's fighting the three headed monsters. It's right, the Hydra. So- isn't there a three-headed monster like like Raw Ryler? Like, in hell, I think there's... Oh, okay. It's just like a regular like, three-headed just dragon a, thing, though? Yeah. Okay. I played all that Hercules stuff in um, that video game I love. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's my number five. What's yours? Okay, so I didn't put any animation either. We should have probably discussed this like, well, you'll see my list, but okay. So my number five is Parent Trap. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. Because it is just really good. And we just watched it for an episode. So it's like fresh in my mind. But like I was saying, like when I was watching it, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember every second of this movie. It was so iconic. It was so good. It still is good. And just like it has such like a 90s flair, you know? The soundtrack is great. Oh, yeah. We didn't talk about that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, what's your number four? My number four, I have a tie. Okay. <laughs> and these these are two movies that probably no one has ever watched or heard of, unless you're into horror. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one is Deep Rising, which is a horror action movie. Mm-hmm. And it's basically about these terrorists basically rob a cruise ship Mm. and then when they get to the cruise ship there's like nobody on it oh spooky but we find out there's something on the boat on the ship that has eaten (gasps) all of the people oh cool yeah what is it an octopus it is a squid kind of it's like this okay this is a spoiler (laughs) (laughs) but I mean, if you watch the trailer to this, they show it. Okay. They, like, show you. It's, like, this giant octopus thing with, like, tentacles that, like, eat. It's such a fun movie. Yeah. Um, Oh, interesting. I've never heard of this. Treat Williams and Famke Jensen are in this, if you know who that is. I don't think so. Jean Grey in X-Men. Oh, love her. Yeah. Love her, actually. Yeah. Okay. She, this is the reason why I love this movie is because she is so hot. Yeah, she is, she like, is the like, hottest. She is, like... She's playing like this, like, um, she's going around like stealing people's stuff. Pickpocket? Yeah, a pickpocket. She's pick pickpocketing people on the ship. But then she gets like stuck in the middle of all this like shit. 
Oh, damn. It's, it's good. Okay, this, the other movie is Mimic. Oh, nice. Have you seen those? Or I do feel you know? like I did see Mimic. But I'm- okay, Guillermo del Toro's movie. I like at least know what it is. Giant cockroaches. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> It is a, it's like the 90s version of Alien, basically, but with yeah. like giant cockroaches. It takes place like in New York City and like a lot of it is like the underground subway tunnels. It's probably like one of the best like creature features of <laughs> the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, that was like the first movie that kind of introduced me to Guillermo del Toro. That's cool. And it, inspired me to make movies oh okay what's your number four my number four is a classic and i used to watch this if my mom's listening we used to watch it together it is my girl i was gonna put that on my list too really yeah but i just figured it was such an iconic movie that yeah like i didn't need to mention it Uh, yeah it's it's like i like both of them but i definitely think Part one is like, does Macaulay Culkin die in one or two? I thought it was number one, right? It is number one with the bees, yeah. Anyway, it's just so iconic. And like that bee sing just, or that bee scene was like, whoa. Yeah, gnarly. So gnarly, so intense. Because that's like, uh, well, he ended up dying. Yeah, because he was allergic. And he was there to find her necklace. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And her dad is just great. You know, it's Mm -hmm. got a little crossroads wink because it's that guy. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what is this dan Aykroyd? yeah um wait isn't jamie lee curtis in this too yeah i think she might be his girlfriend in part two though right or is she in part one and then they're married in part two yeah that's that's okay. what it is like sh- he hires her to like do makeup yes the mortician job yeah mm-hmm. yeah such a classic mm-hmm. it's so good i kind of want to watch it now all right so what's your number three Okay, my number three is another tie. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, can we do that? Is is that just what we do now? (laughs) Okay, the first one is the faculty. (laughs) Okay, that that almost went on my list, but it didn't because I was like, we're not going to do horror. Oh, well, I was like, no, I'm talking horror movies. Oh, good God. (laughs) You can. Okay. You don't have to. Um, okay, the faculty. I quote this movie like all the fucking time. Plus, it's like Kevin Williamson who did Scream, who mm-hmm. wrote this. Robert Rodriguez who did From Dust Till Dawn, which almost went on my list. But yeah, so many good lines in that movie. Yeah, it's so iconic. Okay, the other movie is Urban Legend. Oh the yeah, first you one. love Urban Legend. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. <laughs> I think I did too. I think I had it on DVD, but I like. In, oh, I have it. And back then I like loved it, but I don't remember much about it. I sometimes like pull it up just to watch. Oh, <laughs> And then that's I YouTube awesome. videos of like the death scenes. Oh, gosh. I don't know what I liked about this movie. Maybe because of Tara Reid. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was like American Pie days, right? Right. Yeah. And what, Rebecca? Rebecca Gayhart. Gayhart, yeah. Gayhart, Rebecca yeah. Gayhart. She played that character so well. Mm-hmm. Oh, Loretta Devine as the security, the campus security. Oh. She's always, she's like, her thing is like, she loves Pam Greer. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> I quote her sometimes too. I'm in legend my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so that's my number three. <laughs> nice uh my number three actually ugh, it's so hard these are like the top the top three were ones where i was like fuck i don't know which one like they're kind of all tied but i have a shit ton of honorable mentions dude me too <laughs> <laughs> okay well this is just the order i wrote down so i'll just try to stick with it my number three was now and then oh uh we were just literally talking about yeah that. because um, I I love Rosie O'Donnell, love Christina Ricci, Demi Moore. Like it's so iconic. Devin Sawa. It's like such yeah. a great story. I love. I think I'm kind of a sucker for like beginning, like young and old. I don't think I've seen that movie to be honest. It's like one of the girls, Gabby Hoffman. So she's kind of like the protagonist, I would say. 
because she and she, grown up she's Demi Moore, and Demi Moore I think is an author. They're they figure they're they're like solving a case mm-hmm. where like they think this man maybe killed this woman or something. And so it's like that's going on and it's like summer and then her mom is like pissing her off because her mom's starting to like dress like young and hip and like date. Yeah. And then Christina Ricci's like, I think her mom's dead. And it's just her and like a bunch of brothers and her dad. Yeah. And her and Devin Sawa like wants her so bad. And then one of the girls I think might I'm trying to remember. I feel like one of them maybe like I don't know. But anyway, it was just so good. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely have not seen this movie. Okay, so my number two is a tie. Oh, God. <laughs> the first one is an iconic movie. It's made by the one and only Steven Spielberg, Jurassic Park. Ooh. But yeah, the original is like, it still holds up, like all of the animatronics. It's got like horror elements. I know. I think it is considered horror. Really? I'm pretty sure. Mm, to me, it's like an adventure. I mean, it's like, a, well, I think it's like kind of both. It's like adventure horror because it's giant monsters. You know, like Cujo is like a dog that kills people. It's a horror movie. Yeah. So I think Jurassic Park is like technically considered horror. I guess. <laughs> um okay the other movie i had on my number two was death becomes her oh my god i almost put that on my list you should have i should have just did that like a bunch so of times like, again i was like i think that's like kind of horror it's got a little bit of horror there's like death in it but fantasy too yeah and like it's comedy mm-hmm. it's so good but yeah, Robert Zemeckis like directed that. It's got a great score. Aren't they like making a new one? Are they? I could have sworn I heard that. You know who should play the um who? or what? Lady Gaga. <gasps> totally. As, she could, uh, yeah. Yeah. As the Madame. Mm-hmm. Drink this. Yeah. <laughs> So good, dude. Oh my gosh. Meryl Streep. Mm-hmm. Oh, amazing. She's so amazing. Is it Bruce Willis who's a love interest? That's so funny. Yeah. Remember he like pushed her down the stairs? Oh, yeah. And her like, was it her neck gets busted? Yeah. And the other and girl she's like, is like, Ernest, you push me down yeah. the stairs. <laughs> Gosh, I want to watch that tonight too. So that's my number two. Okay. So since you're doing um, a tie for everything. <laughs> I added some, I'm like moving my list around because I'm like, okay, fine. I, I'll name whatever. So I'm going to do a three. My number two is three different movies. Okay. Hell yeah. No, let me rewind. It's two movies because I'm going to move one of these to number one. Number two, I have Batman. Oh, I was just talking about that movie last night with Adam. Yeah. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, Nicole Kidman. Yes. Like it's just all the first two Batmans, but like so iconic. Mm-hmm. And like so special and unique, and that was like you know. Who's the villain? The first one's the Joker. It's Jack Nicholson, right. and then the second <laughs> second one is um the Penguin, which is Danny DeVito. <laughs> right? Yeah. Did you see the Oscars where uh, Arnold and Danny DeVito like yeah, presented? Yeah, that's they were so talk- funny. They were talking about Michael Keaton as Batman. Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. It's I'll so be back. That's Terminator. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I sh- Mr. Freeze just is that his name? Or is- <laughs> Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Mr. Freeze. <laughs> what does he say? He's like so many one liners. Why don't you freeze? Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Batman, and then my other one is Shawshank Redemption. Oh, um, because it's just so like. That's such a heavy movie. So heavy. Tim Robbins is like a dark horse. He's amazing. He's also in this movie called Jacob's Ladder, which is horror, but that Mm -hmm. would be on a list of mine somewhere. And then also when he was in, was that one movie? Um, Sean Penn's in. Mystic River. Mystic River. He's amazing in that too. But anyway, Shawshank. It's also Stephen King. Mm -hmm. But that one's phenomenal because I- I guess if you know otherwise, please let us know. But I think that was the director's first like feature film. 
And then that's all from like Stephen King's short, which is like Rita Hayworth, like the storyline of like, you know, the poster and like digging the hole behind it. Mm-hmm. Where the movie, they just like built this whole universe. Yeah. Kind of like how the recent one with Boogeyman, like that's only one scene of like the the dad and the therapist yeah. talking, but Frank Darabont? That was his first movie. I could have sworn I heard something like that. Actually, no, you're right. He did a TV movie, but that really doesn't count. Yeah. Um, But yeah, that was his first movie. And then he went on to do The Green Mile. And then after that, he did another Stephen King movie. Yeah. The Mist. Oh. He's a good director. Yeah. He hasn't done anything. How do you top come the, back? How do you top the ending of the mist, though? You know, right? So tragic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now <laughs> let's move to honorable mentions. Okay, honorable mentions: James and the Giant Peach. Oh yeah, yeah, cute movie. I love the stop motion. I actually think it's. I like it more than like a Nightmare Before Christmas, mm. just because. I love like all the little creatures. Yeah. Like the spider and the um the worm. Right. The worm is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like the giant peach and the, the peach. <laughs> yes, I love the peach. You know, it's got like the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. stairs. Yeah. And like the fucking shark that's in the water. Yeah. It's so fucking scary. Yeah. I'm like, what? Why is it like metal? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then they fucking blow it up somehow right. <laughs> yeah that movie's all over the place and then like the peach falls on top of the Empire State Building <laughs> oh I don't remember that part it's like the ending oh my gosh <laughs> that's so funny yeah I love that movie it's so good I so I had like a I had listed out and then I was like then I went back and made like okay these are the top whatever so I have a list. So you have like seven. More than, more than that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just going to name them, okay? Okay. Newsies. I never heard of it. Are you kidding? Wait, is that the one with the kids? Yeah, Christian Bale. It's like the musical? No. Dude, it's so fucking good. That's shocking. I bet Edwin's seen it. You Christian guys should watch Bale's it. Christian Bale's in those? Yeah. He was also in um Little Women. He was like a kid actor. So yeah, Newsies uh leon the professional because natalie portman oh my god i don't know this movie leon the professional are you for real (laughs) when did this movie come out like in the night like i don't know 96 maybe okay okay um speed Ooh, right that one i know yeah (laughs) speed is like so iconic not speed (laughs) 2 no fuck no the virgin suicides yeah i don't remember it I will say there's a chance some of these movies might be like the year 2000, but whatever. Bicentennial Man. Yeah, the 1999. Um, Pleasantville. Toby McGuire. Yeah, Toby. And Paul Walker. Yes, Paul Walker. Yeah. Yeah. Who else? Reese Witherspoon? Yep. God, I forgot what happens in that movie. That's why I didn't oh put it on the list. I did put Wish Upon a Star. <laughs> <laughs> yes edwin would be like so happy that yeah you <laughs> i mean it was like it was like the movie you wanted on disney yeah. all the time it was like oh the cool movies on with the and cool, i can't believe girl. we met i know yeah Haley. whatever her name is yeah american pie wow mm-hmm. i'm so i'm so shocked dude i like loved that movie when i was younger have you rewatched it since not in a hot minute, but I used to really like the American Pie movies, like the first two. They're kind of problematic. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> I'm pretty, like, no, they're like extremely problematic. Extremely problematic. problematic yeah. Now. But I'm saying, like, when I was a kid, these are like the movies that, like, I liked in the 90s, like, that came out in the 90s. Like, okay, what did you like about American Pie? I think I, I thought it was just like they, it, like, the, the dynamic group of friends. I had a crush on, um, the Stifler. Stifler, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Sean William Scott. Yeah, I had a big crush on him. And probably N- Natasha. Cause she's like Oh yeah. But I don't know. It was just like I like like teen movies. Like they're just like fun. I wasn't like the whole him doing it with a pie was like 
I didn't even pay attention to that scene because it's just, like it's not funny or interesting to me. But it's just everything else. Tara Reed and Kevin. Shannon Elizabeth. Shannon Elizabeth, hello. Like it was just like so fun. Yeah. Thomas. All like the potty talk. There's a lot of potty talk. And then um Free Willy, because hello. I totally forgot about that movie. Fucking Free Willy so iconic, except we're against captive animals, but that's also the message. But yeah. when we were kids, that was like that movie like was like uh such a big deal. And then Michael Jackson had to make a good song, curse him. All of his music's so good. Can we talk about like the part where the whale is ju- <laughs> jumping over, over them? Him? Yeah. <laughs> Did they actually film that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. That was like so cool back then. It was I really was like, cool. Whoa. It was really cool. I really thought it like they put the whale <laughs> on a crane. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, he like jumped over the like enclosure. I was gonna say, I think in real life, Willie was like it was like if you take a whale out of so all whales or orcas. Mm-hmm. I think they're technically a dolphin. Oh. Yeah. They're te- yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, or porpoise or whatever. Go ahead and let us know in the comments. <laughs> but anyway, um, they regionally speak different languages and stuff. Yeah. So like when you have one in captivity, you can't just like release it because mm-hmm. it's like probably gonna get rejected from any pods it like runs into, et cetera. But I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure he like if he's not alive anymore, I'm not sure, but I think he lived out his days like in a net in the ocean, like in Washington or something. Um. Anyway, Pulp Fiction. I knew that was gonna be on your list. Yeah, another I was classic. Like, right. When is it coming? When's it coming? <laughs> um. Joe's apartment. The one with the cockroaches. Yeah. Oh my god. I thought that movie was like so cool. I don't think I ever saw it. Oh man, Ninja Turtles. Oh my god. Yeah. Of course. Right. So iconic. So much fun. Ninja Turtles and Three Ninjas. <laughs> Three Ninjas is the next one. How did you know? I don't know because you said it earlier. I like, it was like, I wanted to be Michelangelo and then I just wanted to be one of the Three Ninjas. <laughs> Which one? Any of them. I just wanted to be a like a ninja like those kids yeah. and make people like go diarrhea and stuff. <laughs> Aww. Anyway, those are all of mine. I feel like Portugal's good. I I swear I'm gonna get a text that's like I was talking about like can't hardly wait or like ten things I hate about you. Like I feel like it's like that's the list they were hoping for. But like I don't love any of those movies. Same. And I watched some of those movies later in life. Like I think probably ten things I hate about you is like what I think is like probably the best one of those. Mm-hmm. That and Cruel Intentions maybe if that counts. But yeah, I've only seen Cruel Intentions back when it first came out Mm -hmm. anyway so are you ready to say your number one can you guess it's a tie oh titanic (laughs) (laughs) so this movie came out what when i was in like third grade here's the reason why i like this movie i was like obsessed with titanic the ship because we were learning about it in school and i was like wow this ship is so incredible (laughs) (laughs) i was like wow this massive ship i can't believe it sunk and got hit by an iceberg and then they made a movie about it and i was like okay this movie was made for me (laughs) oh my gosh I didn't care about the plot when I when I watched it as a kid. I only care about the Titanic. I don't care about like the characters. Yeah. But Leonardo DiCaprio, my gay awakening. Yeah. I was like, okay, so there is a bonus. Like I actually mm-hmm. care about one character. <laughs> I I don't think there's a soul on earth that didn't fall in love with that kid. Yeah. So I was obsessed with Titanic, the ship, and I was also obsessed with Leo. Yeah. <laughs> I would go to the library and like look at books of the Titanic and Leo. <laughs> oh, I love that. I was a kid and yeah. like the librarians were like, why is this kid like looking at pictures <laughs> of Leo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do. But anyways, um, so when I first watched that movie, I was more interested in like the production of Mm -hmm. the titanic because it looks so real yeah and it still holds up today like i saw it in theater last year when they re-released it that movie will always stick with me yeah just like i think it's james cameron's best movie i mean if you think about like titanic is like it's such a great story 
the production was like it changed movies. Yeah. That's like his thing though, I guess. But I was a kid and I went to that movie like two or three times in the theater. I never got to see it in theater, oh my which God. was the sad part. Cause yeah. like all the kids in my class saw the movie mm-hmm. and I'm like, whose parents like are taking their kids to see this movie? Yeah. There's nudity. Yeah. <laughs> I know that that scene. I was like, whoa, boobies. To this day, though, that scene like grosses me out when like they're having sex and her hand touches the window because it's like all steamy. And I'm like, ew. Okay. But it's funny because like all of a sudden there's like a blanket. In yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I was like, whose hand is it? Is it Jax? I thought it or was is it Rose? Rose. I thought it was Jax because oh, he's funny. on top of her after Ew. they do it. He's like spooky. <laughs> so on I'm his like, stomach. he's probably like this, <laughs> <laughs> pressed against the. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Yeah. Also, Kathy Bates. Oh, icon. She's fucking amazing. Amazing. God Almighty. Oh, uh, <laughs> so good. Yeah, it, it was so good. But for whatever reason, it just didn't stick with me. Like, it wasn't a movie I, like, revisited, but I should. Yeah. Because I remember the ending when the old lady dies and it's, like, inside the... And Jack's there and it's, like... <gasps> yeah, that whole scene yeah. where she's, like, going... Her spirit is, like, going... Yeah. And like everyone's there. Yeah. It's giving The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I was going to say like her dresses, Rose's dresses, like the red dress where she's like wearing, where she, when she's wearing it, when she falls off. Yeah. I was like, slay. You're going to die slay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I used to draw pictures of the Titanic breaking. That was wow. like, because that scene in the movie right. stuck with me and I was it. Oh my gosh, so iconic. Anyways, I could talk about this movie yeah. forever. So what is your number one? <laughs> <laughs> so my number one is like, it's hard. Do you have like five? <laughs> I, have, I have four. But oh I think my God. I think I can narrow it down to like, I added Camp Anawana, but I'm just going to say that's an honorable mention. It's where the kids lie to their parents and they make their own camp. But everyone's oh parents thinks the kids, like one kid's at computer camp, one girl's at fat camp. They hire Christopher Lloyd to like, they're like, we'll give you like, you know, a thousand bucks. Just like if anyone calls, like you're the camp counselor or whatever. And then the parents come and the kids all have to like devise a plan to like make it every camp that they're there for and they do it. And it's yeah. amazing. And it's just like, it's like such a fucking good movie. Yeah. But anyway, so this is really hard, but okay. So Hook, obviously. Oh my God. I totally forgot about that movie. Yeah. So Hook is like, I mean, it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Like it's amazing. It's phenomenal. It's Robin Williams at his finest. Mm-hmm. It's Dustin Hoffman at his finest. It's Julia Roberts at her finest. Rufio. Oh, God, Rufio. Like, it is the coolest movie. It's so (laughs) fun. When the kids are throwing the imaginary food, it's like the funnest thing you've ever seen. So I had to have Hook. And then um, my other one, I got into this when I was in high school, but it is Girl Interrupted. Fucking love that movie. So I get that movie and, like, the Virgin Suicides mixed up. Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, I guess they're both about, like, depression. But... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but girl interrupted i mean it's like angina jolie is like yeah like she's so amazing and then winona Ryder, who we love who like ran the 90s like she was the 90s yeah um love her so much and that actually in real life Susie Kaysen, i think is her name but that was like in minnesota like the the facility oh yeah isn't that crazy they filmed out there? I don't think they filmed there. It's just like in real life because it's a book. It's like an oh, actual memoir. Okay. And then um, Brittany Murphy, Cleo. Like Cleo? Cleo's in it. Duvall. Oh, Clea. Cleo. <laughs> Clea. Duvall. Who's the girl who's in Handmaidens too? Elizabeth Moss? Yeah, little Elizabeth Moss. Oh, I didn't know she was an actor back then. Yeah. She she's she plays burn face. It's like what they call her. Because she like burned her face. Does she have a scar and stuff? Yeah, she's like yeah, like half her face is like Oh. Yeah. They didn't want to take scar face. <laughs> 
So Angelina Jolie's like um, a psychopath. Yeah. Susanna Kasem, which is Winona Ryder, she has, in the movie they say she has borderline personality disorder. And mm-hmm. then there's burn face. So she like lit her house on fire and I don't know what that is. And then Clea Duvall is a, a compulsive or pathological liar. So she just, everything she says is like a lie. Yeah. I don't even know if that's like a real thing. And then Brittany Murphy is like eating disorder, like a bunch of stuff. Oh, and like it's heavily implied that she is assaulted by her dad regularly. Um, And then my, what I think is probably the number one because it was like such like a heavy movie for me. I really cared about it a lot and like had such like a connection to it for whatever reason. It is Stand By Me. Also, Stephen King. Wait, that came out in the 90s? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Girl. What? 1986. Shut the fuck (laughs) up. That's from 86? Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. All these movies, I like figured were in the 90s. I didn't check. Okay, so stand by me. Forget it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, what's your number one? It was Stand By Me, Girl Interrupted, and Hook. But I guess it's just Hook and Girl Interrupted. Shit. Well, Mom. maybe I can... Ugh, damn. How embarrassing for me. Just say Can't Hardly Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ten things I hate about you. <laughs> I probably honestly am forgetting about movies. But like I said, like I don't want to count anim- like animated like stuff. Damn. Yeah. Well, that's our list. That's our list, guys. Is it everything you hoped it would be? Yeah, Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening please let us know in the comments or wherever what you want us to review or any top five lists also let us know what your top five 90s movies are yeah. Brittany, where can we find you you can find me at humble underscore book underscore review and you can find me on instagram and tiktok at some call me underscore ricky and if you liked this episode you can find us on instagram and youtube at paper screen podcast so smash that like button hit us up let us know what you think until next time bye, bye.